Okay, so this is going to be another du double integral over general regions problem um, where we have to change the order of integration. But in this one, I'm going to go a little further. The other example, I simply switched out the limits of integration. In this one, I want to you know, work the problem out to completion. So, okay, so you may want to look at that the, the other one, though, because I think I talk a little bit more about the process I'm about to use. So, again, whatever the inside limit of integration is, um, here we're going to integrate with respect to x. Whatever the innermost limits are, I set those limits equal to x, because I'm going to graph those, those two lines, again, in this case. So if you think about x equals 3y, well, we could certainly multiply both sides by 1 third and have 1 third x equals y. So we're just going to have, again, a line that goes through the origin of slope 1. I like to label as I go y equals 1 third x. And then it says the other line that I have to graph is the line x equals 3. So that's just a vertical line x equals 3. Okay, and then it says on the outside I'm going to graph, think about the lines y equals 0, so y equals 0 and y equals 1. So y equals 0 again is just the x-axis. And then y equals 1, um, let's see, if you plug in the x-coordinate of 3, notice we uh, this line would intersect, we would get 1 third times 3, or sit right here at 1. So the line y equals 1 is going to go through the intersection of those um, those two red lines. Okay, so again, you know, maybe it would be a little confusing. Maybe you're not sure if it's this region or kind of the top part of the, the top triangle or the bottom triangle. But again, since we're integrating with respect to x first, I'm going to draw a line that's parallel to the x-axis. It says the leftmost curve should be the line x equals 3y, which would be this line. And it says the rightmost curve would be the line x equals 3. So I'm trapped in the bottom right triangle, so that's the region where I'm going to be integrating. Okay. Again, you know, if you could integrate this straightforward, by all means, do it. But the problem is, e to the x squared doesn't have an antiderivative with respect to x. So that's why you'd have to go through this whole process that we are now doing. Okay, so let's see if we can't if we can't switch them out. Okay, so again, now instead of integrating with respect to x, we're going to switch it out and integrate with respect to y. <clears throat> so things are going to change a little bit. So I want to make it dy first, and then dx afterwards. Okay, so if I integrate with respect to y, the bottom curve you would be hitting would be the line y equals 0, so that will be our lower limit of integration. Then the top curve that I would be hitting would be the line equals 1 third x. And again, remember you want to express it in terms of the other variable, so we're expressing the y limits of integration in terms of x. Now for the x coordinates, again, I think over that region, what's the smallest x coordinate that I use? Well, the smallest x-coordinate I use would be 0, but the largest x-coordinate that gets used would be 3. So now we've switched out the limits of integration, and we simply need to integrate this. Okay, so let's do that real quick. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to integrate with respect to y first, because that's the innermost part which is the good thing because we can actually do that now. So I'm going to have the integral from 0 to 3. When I integrate e to the x squared with respect to y, <clears throat> again, you can treat x like a constant, so e to the x squared would just be a constant. <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. So if you integrate a constant with respect to y, <clears throat> you're just going to simply get that constant times y. And I like to remind myself, this is from y equals 0 to y equals 1 third x. <clears throat> Sorry, wonderful Austin allergies are killing me. Um, and then we have to integrate with respect to x on the, the outside. 
Okay, so let me evaluate this, 0 to 3. Okay, so I'm plugging in y equals 1 third x, so I'm going to get e to the x squared times 1 third x. And then the lower limit of integration, well, when you just plug in y equals 0, you'll have e to the x squared times 0, which is simply going to cancel out the lower limit of integration <coughs> and make it 0 dx. So now we simply have to integrate this and we're almost we're almost there. Okay. So getting a little bit better, I hope. So I'm going to factor the one third out front. I like to just pull my constants out front. I'm integrating from 0 to 3. And then I'm going to write the x first, e to the x squared dx. And now to integrate x times e to the x squared. So it's actually good we've got that that extra, we've picked up this extra x term, because now we can just do a u substitution. We'll let u equal x squared. The derivative will be 2x dx. Okay, so let's see, so our 1 3rd is going to be out front. The integral, let's see, so we know x squared, that's what we're calling u. So we're going to have e to the u that'll take care of my e to the x squared part. We still need to replace x dx. Well, we know du is equivalent to 2x dx, so if we simply multiply both sides by a half, we'll get 1 half du is equal to x dx. So I'm going to have a half du in there. And remember, when you have a definite integral that you do a u substitution on, you have to change your limits of integration. So that just goes simply back to our original u substitution. So, so we look at u equals x squared. So the upper limit of integration was when x equals 3. So we'll get u equals 3 squared, or 9. So the new upper limit of integration will become 9. The lower limit of integration was 0. So likewise, when we plug that into our substitution, we'll get u equals 0 squared, or our lower limit of integration will turn into 0. Since we're multiplying, we can factor the 1 half out. 1 third times 1 half is going to give us 1 sixth. I've got too many colors going on here. Um, will be 1 sixth, so we pull the 1 half out. And now we're simply integrating e to the u du. Almost there. We get 1 sixth. The integral of e to the u is e to the u from 0 to 9. Plug in your limits of integration, we'll get 1 sixth times e to the 9 <coughs> minus e to the 0. Remember, e to the 0 is simply 1. So we finally calculated our integral 1 sixth e to the 9th minus 1. All right, I hope this example makes some sense. If this is the first one, like I said, you may want to look at the other. It's a little more general. Um, well, it's just another example of setting it up. Um, hopefully the integration is not too bad, but if you have questions, feel free to post them. Hopefully either me or somebody else can, can help point you in the right direction. So, Alright, I hope this makes some sense, and good luck out there.